Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, as you can see, I am doing a uh, voiceover for my desk and kind of planning, crafting, storage work area. Um, I do use this desk for absolutely everything. I basically live at it now. Um, I don't really go out too much because I work from home, so... This is my little desk situation. It is a IKEA desktop. I've made it into an L shape um, and I'll explain the rest in a minute. So on the top of my unit, I have some files. I have my Bella Planella scripts over there on the left, character stickers, foil scripts, black scripts, weekly kit files one and two, and my monthly kit file. Um, I then use the two top drawers and the first long drawer or big drawer. I'm not going to show you the situation in there because it's an absolute mess, but that is the IKEA Malm dresser um, and it's got six drawers in total and I love it. Um, the bottom four drawers of that do hold all of my nail supplies. I am also a nail tech for those who don't know. And this next little thing is my gorgeous little IKEA Rasholt car. It's not the Rascog, it's the Rasholt. It's actually the smaller version. I think it's about half the size, but it fits perfectly down that little gap that you can just about see there um, next to the radiator. And that's where I hide it when I'm not using it. Um, and in the top, I've just got a couple of planners, some books, um, my 2021 weekly kit lineup, which you would have seen the video. If you haven't already, please go and check it out. Um, and then just a couple of used kits that I need to stash away somewhere. Uh, second tier, I have my um, two little micro books that I use for some scripts and some micro sticker sheets. I will do videos on that one on top because that's got all my silent beauty plans and legally planning kit um, scripts in it. I have this little blue file for loyalty cards, like spare ones. And I also have my really, really thick uh, sampler file yeah I need to go through them <laughs> um so that's that's what's on the second tier and I also have a couple of albums that are like shop specific albums um one of my um reusable sticker books just for leftover icons and things I actually made that myself I will probably do a video on that at some point um yeah just a bunch of stuff in there oh and I've got two of these little tup Tupperware boxes um, they're the really useful box brand. I have one for larger sticker samplers that don't fit in that little file um, and one for some die cuts and things. And then, as I said, I've got these files, which are brand specific files. Um, at the bottom, I've got my journal. I've got my gratitude diary, um, a bullet journal, which I use slightly differently and another little notebook there for sticker wants and needs. I like to keep a list of what I've got and what I would like. That little Simply Gilded file is from my foil overlays from Bella Planella. I keep a good stock of those. Got a couple of reusable sticker books. That um, big um, pink and polka dot file has other overlays from other shops. And then I've got all my sort of Happy Planner, Mambi sticker books and the other ones from Hobbycraft. Um, and these little things, they're like little baskets that hang on the side. They're also from Ikea. I just have my highlighters in them at the moment um nothing special here just highlighters but i love this little car as i said it's from ikea i will leave a link below hopefully they've still got some in stock um i know the rascog carts go out of stock like there's no tomorrow but i don't know if many people know about these smaller ones i don't think they've been around for too too long um but yeah i love that car definitely well worth it and i love that it fits down the side of my unit down there as well this is my newest little addition. So I've made a little sticker corner on the corner of my desk. I used to have a filing tray here, but I've got my accordion sticker file, which I will be doing a video on very, very soon for you guys. Um, I've got my two washi storage cubes there. I've got the big one on the right and then that smaller one for some glitter washi on the left. Um, and then at the back, I've got a book file for some other um, sticker books and things. So for other reusable sticker books that I've made. Um, and I also have one of the Mambi sticker book things where you basically tear the pages apart and stick them in. Um, I have that little box there for washi cards, washi samplers, and I've also used to store all of my washi on washi cards. I know, terrible idea, um, but I'm just kind of trying to get through those now. So yeah, they're not my favourite washi, but I use them for crafting projects and things like that. 
Um, and then as I said, I've got my big reusable sticker book there. I made that. Um, not a fan of it, but just using up the stickers that were in there. And then this is the Mambi one. Um, I have a couple of odd little files and a couple of other reusable sticker book things. You can tell I'm a fan of either making or buying reusable sticker books. Um, in my washi cube, I have one of these already. I am probably going to buy another one, but I keep all of my Simply Gilded, Simply Gilded washi at the top as well as overlay tape. Um, I keep all my skinny washi and um, the, all of this other washi is from um, Gretel Creates and other shops. And then my Amazon um, masking tape down the bottom. I do have room to grow. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely using washi a little bit more. Um, onto the desk itself, that little pink thing is my nail box. It's a spare one. I use it for if and when I travel to do nails, which obviously I'm not doing at the moment. Um, and then one of the sides of the desk is held up by one set of Alex drawer and then the other side is held up by another set. So this set over this side holds all of my kind of office-y stationary stuff. So I've got like hand cream and um, random stationary office-y things in here. <laughs> Box opener, can never have too many of these lying around. Um, and then some post-it notes and things like that in that little basket. Just things, just odd bits and pieces in this drawer. Nothing fancy at all. Um, I also keep my hard drive in here. Um, I've got that little tub for my earphones and things like that. So that's just a quick show of the top drawer. Uh, the second drawer down has some more little bits. These little pots, I will tell you, are amazing. They are from the range. They are about 89p or something ridiculous like that. And I hold my clips and things like that in them. But they are useful for all sorts, for food, for stationery liquids anything like that they're brilliant um i also keep my sharps in here as well so my exacto knife and my tweezers and things like that for stickers and for cutting washi and stuff my stapler is in the side there as well um, and then i have these three little pots with the rose gold lids as you can tell i'm a bit of a rose gold lover um and those pots i don't actually know where they're from um, my mum bought them for like a christmas or a birthday present ages ago and i've just kept them and refilled them so i love those uh, and then I've got one of those um, really useful boxes, organisers at the back there, just with some random bits and pieces, more memory cards, rubbers, pencil cases, uh, pencil cases, pencil sharpeners, things like that. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Spare staples, another one of those little pots just with some tabs in that I cut recently. I'll probably use those on another project soon. I've got tons of projects coming up at the moment, so... I'm just trying to get them all done. Um, spare post-it notes. I use post-it notes all the time. Don't know about you guys, but I hoard them. <laughs> um, I have this box, which houses my refills for my label maker. I have the Dymo LT, I think it's called. Uh, and these are just plain white plastic label maker refills. Uh, I did haul these in one of my recent haul videos. So they are from Amazon. Um, they're not the Dymo brand, that, but they are brilliant. I buy them all the time. And then that is my 2020 diary. I have toyed with the idea of doing a flip through of that, but it's not completed because I kind of gave up with planning towards the end of the year because I was so busy with the new house and getting it all ready to move in and then moving out of the old house and it was just a nightmare. So yeah, some other random bits in there, like a word search and a little micro notebook. And then the fourth drawer down just holds some happy planner mini classic and classic skinny refill sheets either that I've bought or that I've made and then some other projects and things like that so that's pretty much what that is <coughs> um nothing too much going on in this drawer just tons of refills and things which is nice to have always good to have spares because you never know when you need things um this particular classic skinny one I made for myself as a holder so I have tons of these like skinny half sheets um or classic half sheets should I say um yeah it's brilliant I love that little book um and then yeah just some more random stuff and then I've also got a similar thing with the classic size inserts that I either make print off or buy 
so yeah I do make a lot of my own inserts if you guys haven't realized already if you follow me on my Instagram you, you'll know the sort of projects and things that I'm doing at the moment and then I've got my two laptops the one on the right is my old and personal laptop and the one on the left is my work laptop and then I've got my work landline there next to me I'm basically like a receptionist in my job I'm a state agent in my family business so I kind of take all the incoming calls and book things in and things like that so I've always got my landline near me um the corner there I have my pen pots to store all my pens um if I can remember the tabletops and the sizes and things that I got for this desk setup I will try and leave them linked below but otherwise as I said you've got the Alex drawers um, on either side it is also held up with legs in the middle to support it and then I have my big vanity mirror on top which I don't know the brand unfortunately um, I bought it like four or five years ago but it's brilliant um, this set of drawers as you can see is my makeup drawer this is also my vanity as well when I'm not filming or when I'm not projecting or working um, so that's just a quick peek of those drawers uh, I have my makeup brushes in these tubs on the side here. That's just how I store them once I've cleaned them and things like that, which I think some of them do need to clean. I've not been wearing makeup at all, barely recently, because I've not had or felt the need to. Not really been going out too much. Um, and then I also keep um, like hand and body lotion and hand sanitizer in these two little bottles. My tablet is always plugged in. You've got a photo of me and my other half on there. <laughs> um, I've always got my water bottle with me. Always got my uh, daily to-do list and my daily kind of write down planner on what I've done. This is the planner face one and I basically just use each day to write down everything that I've done so that I know when I memory plan exactly what I've done each day. <laughs> Short term memory loss problems. Um, and then this blue and purple one I use for like to-do lists and things so that I know I'm getting things done during the day rather than just wasting these lockdown days away uh, and then I've got that little um, tray there just for jewellery and stuff here I am just turning on my light so you can see it, like it's so bright um, I that's why I feel like my videos are good in terms of lighting because when I film on my desk I've got so much light around me so yeah it's really really good and then this is my newest addition to this setup, which is my chair. Um, I am not going to leave a link to the chair below. If you want the link, then please DM me on Instagram. Um, I wasn't really happy with the service that I received from buying this chair. I did get it on Amazon. Um, there wasn't huge amounts of reviews, but it's like literally the most perfect chair. So I went with it and it arrived with some splits in it and it arrived with some dirty marks. Um, I did manage to get my money back, but I would hate for you guys to have to go through the same hassle that I did. <laughs> so I'm not going to link it, but if you do want the link, then please let me know and I will message you directly. Um, as you saw there, that was my whiteboard on the side next to my TV and it is a planning whiteboard. So I use that and that is pretty much the end of the video. Bye guys.